Hi class, this is teacher Geraldine again, and welcome back to our lesson in ICT. For weeks 7 and 8, we will continue our discussion with MS PowerPoint. Your learning competency for weeks 7 to 8 are Add graphics on a slide Insert custom animation in slide Add sound in a slide and create interactive elements in a slideshow And to guide you along with our discussion how do you insert graphics in a presentation? How do you add animations on a slide? And how do you add sounds in a presentation? Let's start with how to add graphics to a PowerPoint. All right, here. We already have our Microsoft PowerPoint opened and I have here a blank sheet. It actually depends on your choice. So graphics would enhance the appearance of your presentation. So we can actually add three graphics. One is picture, two is the word art, and three charts. So let's start first with the picture. So by default, we are at the Home tab. So to insert graphics, we need to go to the Insert tab and just click it here. Then we have here Pictures. Click Pictures. And again, you can choose from where the picture is located. So let's have this device. And the drive where the picture is located will appear so look for it here we have our as usual ENHS logo click it and then click insert and there you go we already have our picture here so how about for chart so the same so go to insert tab and then we have here from our illustration we have our chart just click it and then you can choose from the different charts available so let's choose for example the pie chart and this one so just click OK and wait for it and there you go we already have our chart and the Excel embedded to it so you can change the axis here columns and rows so for the meantime let's just uh, close this one and there you go we have our chart okay now how about word art actually word art is just a text however it is it has more design to it so how do we insert word art? So still insert tab and then from the text group here we have our word art. So you can select a drop down and select which one best fit your presentation or which one you like. So let's have this one for example. And there you go, you have your text and let's have uh, let's change your text for example, let's have this. ICT ICT output okay there you go so we already have inserted three graphics the picture the chart and the word art how to apply a custom animation effect So to add animations to our objects in the PowerPoint, so we have here the Animations tab, click this one, and then click the object 
that you want to animate or add animation to it. Let's start with this one, this picture. Then from the animations group, you can select different animations here. Or if you want more animations, you have this entrance, emphasis, and exit. And also motion paths. So you can choose which you like. Or which suits best for your presentation. For formal presentations, I suggest you choose appear, fade, fly, in float, and split, wipe, and however, if your presentation is not that formal or for enjoyment, and uh, for example, just for fun, then you can choose shape, wheel, and the others down below here. So let's, for example, select Zoom. There you go. Let's have another example, this one. Sales or the graph. So let's select, for example, here the... Okay, float in. And another example again. Click the object that you want to add animation. And the animations tab, you have here animation group. And if you want more, you can click this arrow here and then select what it what is best for your presentation. So let's have for example here bounds for ICT output. There you go. That's how you add animation to your slide. have here how to manage the animations in your slide or in the objects in your slide so uh, we have here animation 1 in the picture animation 2 for the chart animation 3 for our word art so as you can see here at the advanced animation group in our animations tab we have here animation pane so let's click this one there you go. So animation pane will always appear at the right part of your screen. So we have here how many objects we have. Again, the picture, the chart, and then our word art. Just like for example, if you want this word art to appear first, all you just need to do, I am showing you the simplest part of how to do it. You click this one and then as you can see there are arrows you can drag it apart there you go instead of number three then we have our ICT output as number one meaning it will show first okay let's have a preview there you go however aside from that there are also many options to choose from okay aside from that there are also many options for you to choose from with our animation so like for example click this drop down here you can select start on click start with preview start after previous you have the effect options the timing advanced timeline Okay, so like for example, we want the ICT output and the logo here to appear together. So at the same time, so we can just click that picture for this one and then click the drop down and select start with previous. Meaning the ICT output and the logo here will appear at the same time and after that that's for our chart let's take a look there you go if you think that the animation is too fast you can also change the settings or the duration and the t in the timing here okay so let's change it to seconds okay duration text animation or effects so timing let's have how many seconds 
seconds. Okay, let's select the medium or the slow. Let's have slow for example. Click OK. And of course, since we have started with previews, we will also change these settings for this one. Three seconds slow. Okay, let's take a look at the preview part here. There you go. That's how you change the settings or add advanced animations to your animation. How to add sound to your slide. Right, so this time let us add a sound to your animation so you just need to go to the insert tab and then tab here at the end or the last part at the upper right media so click audio for example audio on my PC so you already have here an audio that you want so let's have rear armor audios. I think it's in music. So let me take a look at the music part. Okay, here we go. I saw it. Okay, let's have no copyright music. And okay. This one. Click insert. You have here the sound for your audio. So you can transfer this one to. Okay, there you go. You can play this one. Let's have a preview, actually. Let's have a preview. So once you already have this sign here, the speaker symbol, then that means we already have added audio in our presentation. And another, aside from adding audio through uh, music that we already have, you can also record audio. However, it depends on your uh, version of your PowerPoint presentation. So to how to add audio, How to create interactive PowerPoint presentations. Okay, so how to add interactive creation. So how to add interactive PowerPoint presentation. So the secret here is inserting hyperlink to your presentation so when you say hyperlink it will allow you to connect to other slides or even to another file by just a simple click so the same with for example in the web page or when you search for google so once you have their choices or always in blue then once you click it you will be link to another page or another website for example and that is an example of hyperlink so this time we will discuss how to do it okay of course we will discuss how to add hyperlink in just the same slide okay. so at the meantime let's insert first slide so to insert slides go to home tab then we have here new slides. Let me select blank presentation. Actually, you can also duplicate by right, by double, or I mean, use right click, and then you have here duplicate slide. There you go. So we will, for example, uh, put this ICT output on our second slide. 
I used Control X. And another Control X for third slide. Okay. So actually, I have not organized yet our content. However, I'm showing you how to insert a presentation, I mean, hyperlink. Okay, click on, let's go to our first page, our first slide, I mean, click on the object. Let's have a bigger picture. And then once you click this one, go to insert. And as you can see here at the links, we have link and action. So again, create a link. So it can take you to places in your document. That's how the hyperlink works. So click on this one. And there you go. You have this analog box to appear. Let's select here. It, it could be existing file or web page. Place in this document. Create new document or email address. So in our, for our discussion, let's place in this document. And select a place in this document. So where will you link this picture? That means once you have your presentation and you click this picture, it will allow you to go to which slide. So you can select slide 1. You have here the preview part. Slide 2, 3, or 4. Okay. Let's have, for example, you proceed with slide 3 and click OK. OK. So, let's uh, try to have this PowerPoint presentation plate. And actually, you can select F5. There you go. So, if we will just select the arrow next arrow or the arrow down it will or the next or it will lead you to the next slide which is your if you have not forgotten yet your ICT there you go however if you have your hyperlink and you want to skip other slides all you just need to do is to click this picture so you can see it changed from arrow to the hands click this one it will directly lead you to where it was hyperlinked so if you can remember we added hyperlink for this to uh, proceed with the graph or chart okay, let's click this one there you go it proceeded to the chart Okay, let's have another example. So let's add more words in here. More word art, for example. Your link goes here. Okay, so let's add a hyperlink to our second page. Again, click on the object or the text that you want to hyperlink. Let's have ICT and then click on the insert tab we have here at the links group link click link and place in this document so where will you place your uh, hyperlink so once we click the word ICT it will lead you to our slide 4 we have here the preview click okay as you have noticed it was underlined meaning it has a hyperlink to it the word I see alone okay so let's again press F5 to, to have your presentation next okay if you will click the word ICT it will lead you to slide 4 which is hyperlink goes here okay, let's click it all right there you go 
that's how you uh, add hyperlink to our presentation to make it more interactive. And that's it for our discussion. For your activities, for week 7, refer to last 7, then answer activities 1 and 2, page 4, as well as reflection also in page 4. For your week 8, answer last 8, activities 1 and 2, pages 3 to 4, and reflection in page 4. Once you are done, send it offline using USB or online through messenger or email. That would be all class. Thank you for watching and see you next quarter. God bless.